This video is brought to you by cdkeyoffice.com, the best place for buying games, gift cards and software keys on a discount. Simply make an account, use the code FOXY for 20% off and enjoy your purchase. Follow the link in the description for more info. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best optimal settings for streaming using OBS, OBS Studio basically. So I made a lot of videos lately about how to stream with bad internet and how to stream with bad computers, but I actually noticed that I've never made a video for normal people using OBS. So this is what we're doing today basically. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what settings you should use regardless of what internet you have and regardless of what hardware you have. Obviously, it's going to be needed that you have a decent internet and actually a decent computer for this to work perfectly. For the internet, anything above 3 megabits per second upload will work just fine. And for the computer, just make sure you have a decent graphics card and a decent computer and a decent amount of RAM. And with that being said, obviously set up, obviously open up your OBS, set up your scenes and your display capture. You, you can do this, I assume. I'm going to be focusing on the settings today. So basically go to your settings button right, right over there. This window will pop up and then skip the generals. Obviously the stream, you're going to have to, you know, set up the destination and your stream key. You probably already know how to do that. I'm going to be just focusing on the settings. Go to the output, go to streaming, make sure this one says advanced. And obviously for the encoder, if you have a good graphics card, I want to, I want you to choose the graphics cards option. Do not choose the X264 because that's going to use your CPU. And graphics cards are better at encoding video, so obviously I would suggest that you use your graphics cards basically. Check this option right here that says enforce streaming service encoder settings. Then go ahead and skip all of the settings. Go to the rate control, make sure this one says VBR. And for the bitrate, make sure this one says 3. Make sure this one says 2500. And for the maximum bitrate, make sure that says 4000. The, the reason behind this is a good bitrate is going to be around 3000 and 3500. 3, a really good bitrate is going to be 4000 bitrate and a really low bitrate is going to be 2500. Um, 2500 is generally the best because not everyone has a good download speed and watching you stream if you're not a partner with, if you're not a partner with Twitch. If you're streaming on Twitch if, and if you're not a partner with Twitch, if you stream at 4000 megabits per second, not everybody's going to be able to watch your stream and it's going to buffer for them. Intervals is going to help a lot and it's going to it's gonna be good, it's going to be optimal basically. The keyframe interval, I'm going to keep that at zero. The preset, keep it at quality and the profile, keep it at high. Basically keep everything else just like it is, press apply and then move to the video tab. The base canvas resolution is basically going to be your desktop monitor native resolution, so yeah. For me, it's going to be this resolution right here. If you don't know your desktop resolution, just right click anywhere on the, an empty space on your desktop. Go to display settings. A window will appear. Hold on, it's loading for me. Still loading. Okay. As you can see, that's my monitor, my first monitor over there. Scroll down and as you can see, display resolution. This is your current resolution right here. So select that one. For the output scale resolution, this is basically the resolution that you want to be streaming or basically recording at. So for me, I want to be streaming at 720p and so are you. So basically go ahead and type in this manually, 1280, the letter X, 720 because we want to stream at 720p. While streaming, there isn't really much of a difference between 720p and 1080p. So I suggest streaming at 720p to save resources. The downscale filter, make sure that one says Langsdorff for the best quality. And for the FPS, make sure this one says common FPS values and keep it at 60 because 60 is going to be a smooth video and we want a smooth stream for our viewers. Just make sure the settings that I told you about are good. Then press OK. Then press start streaming and you can start streaming with the most optimal settings that you can find. These will not really use any these will not basically use a lot of your resources. Um, this is also best for your viewers. So yeah, these are the best settings. And with that being said, this will wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so we can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. Hit the subscribe button. Let, help me reach 5,000 subscribers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.